All right, hey guys. So today, um, we're going to be doing a Rainex headlight restoration kit. Um, so this is basically just a headlight restoration kit. I um, I purchased it at Pet Boys today because my headlights are yellowing and not ideal, um, in my opinion, anyway. You guys might have different opinions. Um, So in this kit, we have some Rainex lubricant, Rainex headlight restorer, and Rainex sealant, um, as well as a microfiber cloth, and three sanding pads. So, let me just take a quick picture of all this and refocus my camera because I meant to focus it on my headlights and I forgot. So, we'll do that real quick. Alright guys, so while the camera was off, I obviously changed the angle and I raised my hood up here. Um, the main reason I raised my hood up is because I'm going to... Okay then, I'm going to mask around my headlight while I do this, um, mainly to protect the paint and everything. Um, you don't have to do this. I'm choosing to do this because I've never done a headlight restoration kit of any kind, and I kind of like my paint job the way it is. So, we'll get our masking tape together here. And I'm going to do this one headlight at a time. Um, so as far as I know, these are the stock OEM, whatever you want to call it, headlights for this car. Um, so they're fairly old. Um, Let's see, that'd be 13 years old, roughly, um, since this is 2003 and this is 2016 already. Um, oh, another thing I've been meaning to tell you guys about. Last week, I, um, I got some new tires, because I got a flat, and so I needed new tires. Um, I got them over at Costco. Now, I've heard mixed things about buying tires from Costco. Of course, I heard most of that afterwards. But, I have to say, I had a good experience over there. They were helpful, friendly. Um, they seemed to know what they were talking about. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um... Also, so I got um, Michelin tires. Um, I'll have to think about what, what type of Michelin they are, because I can't remember right this second. Um, it snowed yesterday here in Colorado. So that would be the... 18th of March. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to be up on YouTube, but it will be eventually. Uh, I guess it will be <laughs> now, by the time you guys are seeing this. Um, because that's how you see it, but yeah, I know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the greatest talker right now, because I'm kind of I've had a lot going on in my life right now, with school and everything. Um, just general life stuff, you know? So we'll mask that off, like so. 
Um, so we'll set our masking tape aside. Which is not included in the kit, by the way. Um, in case you were wondering. Um, so, per the instructions on the back of the box. Step one, remove any dirt or debris that may be present on the headlight. So, I'm just going to use some wet paper towels to do that. Um, I actually don't have wet paper towels right now. Uh, I have water and paper towels. So, we'll use that, because that's how you get wet paper towels. Like I said, I'm not talking the clearest right now. So when these headlights get wet, they're actually pretty clear. Um, oh, back to my tires, though. Yeah, um, they're great tires. <laughs> my only issue with them was I got a little bit stuck in the snow on a hill yesterday because I had to stop for a red light. Which could happen with any tire in any car. I know several of my friends got stuck. Um, one of them actually at that same light. Alright, we'll dry that off. We'll peel off some of our masking tape with it. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that came from. But I don't seem to be missing any around my headlights, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, per the box. Step two, spray headlight and polishing pads with Rain-X lubricant. So, we have our lubricant. It shows us using the blue colored polishing pad first, then the green, then the purple. We'll set our lubricant aside for the moment while we open these. Um, so yeah, these tires are great, though. Um, I haven't had any real problems with them. Uh, they seem to do great in the snow, other than, like I said, getting stuck. And I think that might have been more user error than anything. Also, these uh, polishing pads, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but they have numbers on them. Really nice feature. Alright, so, we're going to spray our headlight and our pad with the lubricant. There's our lubricant there. We'll spray our headlight. And it says to go in a diagonal motion across the entire headlight. And by, by diagonal, it means rounded corner to rounded corner on the um, sandpaper. I know that might not be clear, because it has a diagram on there that shows you how to do that. I'm going to spray a little bit more of this lubricant on here because it seems to be drying up fairly quickly. Um, got to be careful where I put my hands though because my engine is still warm. I uh, had to go out and get this and stuff today. Uh, along with my wiper blades, which uh, that video will probably be up before this one. Uh, it shouldn't need much editing or anything. I'm just going to use the YouTube video editor again on these because I don't have access to my editing software yet. It is what it is. So it says, in a firm diagonal motion, as shown in the diagram, covering the entire headlight, continue until the headlight has a uniform color and texture. All yellowing should be removed at this step. An unclear experience, appearance is normal at this point. White, clean, and... 
and proceed to polishing pad 2 when complete. So, in case you guys didn't know this, which I didn't until probably two years ago, when you're sanding stuff, you're actually just creating very fine scratches in the object. Okay, so that's got a pretty uniform color and texture now. So I'm going to come over here and grab my paper towel again. And then we'll fold it up. And we'll wipe our headlight down. Um, so a lot of times the main problem people have with headlights is um, They get scratched fairly easily, actually. And I have another little spot here that I need to sand out a little bit more. So we'll get some more lube on there and sand that out. So yeah, that's the problem most people have with their headlights, is that they are very scratched and yellow. So what this does is, and this is mainly from a YouTube video that I watched on how to do this without buying a kit, and from a great YouTuber, I don't know him at all, but his videos are great. Uh, his channel is Chris Fix. Um, I have no idea where he's located or anything, but I love his videos. They're very educational for me. Um, and basically I decided that I didn't want to do it myself. Because kits are easy. We'll put it that way. I decided, you know, kits are easy. Kits are relatively inexpensive. This one cost me... Um, Fifteen ninety nine plus tax. That's not that bad if you can get a good headlight cleaning kit for it. Or a restoration kit, rather. Alright. Um, hold on just one second. Alright guys, so, step number two. Use polishing pad number two in a firm linear motion as shown in diagram until the entire area of the headlight has been treated at least twice and is uniform in appearance and texture. Wipe clean and proceed to polishing pad number three. So number two, the green one, the teal actually, one has number two on it, should be pretty easy. Um, we're gonna spray our lubricant on it and the uh, headlight. I know I did that in opposite order. I don't know why I did that in opposite order, but I did. So you want to just go in a linear motion. Be sure you get the entire headlight surface. It can actually be kind of difficult to get the entire surface sometimes, too. Particularly on this headlight, because it's so... Um, textured. Like, there's a little ridge here, a bump there, a bump there. 
you know. So, not everyone's going to have that problem, I guess I should say. Um, I don't know that that really is a problem necessarily, either. Um, I know all headlights are different. Alright, so that was pad number two. I'm going to grab a paper towel and wipe this down again. Already this headlight looks uh, quite a bit clearer. Um, my tape decided to run away. Um, so what I was saying was this headlight looks a lot clearer now. And, um, it's not even close to done yet. I can already see a difference between it and my passenger side one, which I haven't even started on yet. Um, alright, so now let's do pad number three. Purple says number three on it. Just like all the other ones have their number on it. So we'll spray the pad, spray the headlight. This is the same Rain-X lubricant that we've been using the whole time. Um, again, you want to go in a diagonal motion. With this pad, as you did with pad number one. Don't ask me why that is, it's just what they say to do. So. I'm guessing it has something to do with the way that the uh, sandpaper was designed. Um, also, at the end of this, it says... Um, you want to smooth it to the touch. So, I mean, that already feels pretty smooth. Um, there are a couple spots on here that aren't quite as smooth yet. But you should be able to touch it and it should feel smooth. Um, you want to keep an extra paper towel handy because your hands are going to get wet and stuff from this and so then you want to wipe it dry or wipe it down rather and allow it to dry. Now I'm not sure how long it takes for it to dry. Um, it doesn't say. My guess is not very long however because it already feels dry. Like, I can come over here and touch that one, which I know is dry. Touch this one, it feels dry. So I'm going with that this one is dry. Um, not sure that that's true. Um, but that's what I'm going with, so. If it doesn't turn out, that's probably why. So now you want to apply generous amounts of Rain-X Headlight Re Restorer onto a microfiber cloth. See included microfiber cloth. And included Rain-X Headlight Restorer. Also, this may cause eye irritation. Just so you know. So don't touch your face. It also says to read other cautions carefully on the back. Um, that's not going to happen because... I don't know. I never <laughs> seem to read those. So then you're going to rub this on here. Um, you want to use a circular motion for this.
Oh, also, while I'm here, guys, I've been using my new headlights and turn signals and taillights for a little while at this point, and I love them. They are awesome. Um, so it says to rinse this with water and wipe dry. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more here and rub it some more. I'm guessing this is basically like wax for your car, but for your headlight. Because I have an auto body guy, actually, who told me that you can use car wax on your headlights to clean them up. But I'm not sure about that. So we'll set our cloth aside. Sorry, I'm having some trouble talking today, guys. I don't know why. I really don't. But we'll grab our squirt bottle with H2O in it. Get our headlight wet. And pretty much whenever I'm cleaning my headlights and stuff, I will do it in a circular motion anyway. Because I've always done that. And I know it's funny me saying always because, like, I'm only 16. Um, so I've had my car for, like, a year. Actually, it will be a year next month that I've had this car. And I love this car, too. It's great. Um... Sorry for that side note. I know it was kind of random. Um, so yeah. Then it looks nice and shiny and clear. I am thoroughly impressed with this kit so far. That headlight looks a million times better than my other one right now. Um, okay, maybe not a million. That was an over-exaggeration. I believe you can also use this on fog lights. Um, I don't see why you couldn't, because it's the same basic plastic and everything. Um, also, I need to wipe that dry still. So, dry off the front of my car, because I don't like having rain -X on there. Or not rain -X, but water. I don't know why I said rain -X. <laughs> That made no sense. Um, spray rain -X sealant onto a clean cloth or paper towel and apply uniformly to the headlight. So we grab our sealant here. And I'm going to grab another paper towel. And... Um... I just like to fold it up. That's just another one of those things that I've always done whenever I'm putting something on a, or when I'm, whenever I'm using a paper towel for something. Um, apparently with this, more is less, actually. Or less is I don't know. You need more than you would think for this to apply it uniformly. But already this headlight looks amazing compared to when we started. And because I'm doing these one at a time, I will take a picture of it in just a minute with both of the headlights off and on. So you guys can see what it looks like too. Alright, so We've done one now, and it looks great. So, the steps are the same for the other side, 
I'm not going to put it in the video because I'm just not. <laughs> I don't really have a good reason for that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.